Well, to tell you, I've always been attracted to athletics in general. Um, whatever was was requiring for me to use my body, uh, I mean, I needed to be in action. It didn't matter what it was. So I was attracted to whatever was athletic in itself, and I didn't even know it at the time. It really just happened naturally. And I wasn't introduced to anything such as handball or rugby. It was more tennis and soccer just because of, I mean, you follow on TV Roland Garros, the French Open, um, and soccer is the main sport. Right. So you you just end up being exposed to all these different um, uh, games on TV or just people talking about sports. These are going to be the main topics of conversation when thinking sports. And I ended up, and it's just, it's just the strangest thing, having a brother who ended up being just this American sports fanatic. He just loved American sports. He loved baseball, American football, and basketball. Okay. And basketball truly was his passion. That was his true love. He loved the game of basketball more than he loved any other sport. And he, he, he just was just bathing in this American sport concept. I mean, posters all over the wall of his room of Bo Jackson, uh-huh. Magic, Barry, uh, Michael, all, right. all the best, uh, Barkley. His favorite player was Dominic Wilkins. And okay. he also had those uh, baseball players and, and football uh, players, posters, uh, Walt Payton, like all these guys. And you're just kind of wondering because – we don't have a background of athletics in our family. Um, my mother used to play a bit of tennis, but it, it really was just for fun. It's not like she was competitive to the point where she, she, she'd travel or um, take part uh, in competitions. It, it's really just, um, it was just a hobby. Right. My father clearly never played sport. Um, he was just a hardworking man who ended up being a successful businessman. So he okay. was just... That a self-made man in athletics never was in his um, hobbies, neither passions or um, interests, simply. Uh, my sister never played sports either. She was, she, 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 she was more into music. Okay. Music was really was into her soul. And my older brother, um, who died right before I, um, I was born, never was involved in athletics either. Okay. So, I mean, the, the, our culture, our, our family culture, never involved athletics per se. Okay. The only guy that really was involved with athletics was my uncle, my mom's brother, but he never was uh, close to us geographically, um, neither did we interact with him much as I grew up. I ended up spending more time and getting in, in touch with him um, much later, when I already was taken over by this whole basketball passion of mine. Okay. So it, it, really, it really came from nowhere. I don't even know how he got involved uh, right. with uh, American sports. Right. Uh, my, brother, my, my brother probably had some friends in school who liked those sports. And you know how it is. You may just get introduced to something and it speaks to you. Yep. You don't know where it comes from, but it speaks to you. And me being already competitive like crazy, and it was just competitive in all matters, all things. It, it didn't matter what it was. It could be in play a, a game of um, cards or board game or just playing tag, yeah. uh, playing catch, whatever that, that may be, um, just schoolwork. I just wanted to outdo anybody around me just in, 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 in this mindset of reaching out to higher things, higher goals, and I hated to lose. I was such a sore loser as a kid, and it didn't matter what it was. Okay. It didn't matter what it was. So I guess that the athletics really led me into letting out this competitiveness that I had within me. And um, my brother uh, was watching the game one day, and uh, it was on, I think, Camel Plus. And it was back in 1991, 1992. And I'm just seeing this... Uh, this uh, playoff game, the Bulls 
Bulls against the the Knicks. Okay. And you remember the '92 playoffs? I mean, that that was the series. The finals were amazing, but the best playoff series that year really was the Bulls against the Knicks. Right, right. Pat Riley took over the pro the the, the Knicks organization. Um, he and his coaching style. They were like the new bad boys of uh, of the NBA. Okay. I mean, Anthony Mason, Charles Oakley. Pat Ewing, John Starks. I mean, you name it. It, it. it was just the Knicks against the Bulls. And Jordan was in his prime, just already had his first ring, and he was better than ever. Yep. And I just ended up just watching, and just everything about basketball spoke to me. Yeah. The creativity, um, the style, the... <laughs> The, the competitive competitiveness, right. the physical aspect of the game, okay. and really what was different about um, basketball compared to soccer was that it's just more active. It's just more action. You're not as passive as you may be when you play soccer. Yeah. Soccer is on a much greater, I mean, much bigger field, yeah. and you end up being passive. You end up just having to wait. If you play on offense, you're just going to wait for uh, your midfielders and the defense to recover the ball and get it to you. Yeah. If you play on defense, the new job is to st- stop the opposite team, get the ball back, pass it to your f- middle field guys, and you're just going to be waiting for the, um, for the other team to play offense again. That's right. So it's, it's like I needed – maybe – I don't even know if it was needed, but I just felt that I identified to what basketball was bringing okay. to the table. It just made sense. And as soon as I started, you know, touching touching the ball and dribbling and, and getting into learning new skills and and discovering what basketball was about, I just fell in love with the game and never turned back. It just – I never looked back. I ended up having a basketball in my hands every single day. <laughs> I, I had a basketball with me going to school. I was shooting – and playing basketball at recess, every single recess that we had during the day in school, I was bouncing the ball. And they even put hoops up in the, um, in the, our recess yard uh-huh. for me. <laughs> and it is a true story. It started with my brother. And my brother started the trend because he was the only one really into basketball at the time. Yeah. And... When they saw my involvement with basketball, they're like, this kid has a basketball with him every single day. Yeah. And the mayor, and I was going to school in a very little village. I mean, the village was, uh, its capacity was 467 people. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming from a very little spot. Yeah, yeah. we were living in the village. It was right nearby um, uh, a great aside city, I mean, um, which is, um, how would you call that? Like a very commercial center okay. spot for business because the highway goes right next to it. Okay. So, yeah, it's a very busy, very busy area. And it, there's just one uh, one highway that separates us from that actual big city. Right. So I really had the best, the best of both worlds. I had the countryside as I grew up on the... Um, uh, on a ranch setting, okay, and also having the city right next to me, so it, it's like I had the knowledge and the, the the opportunity to just have both. It's not like I was a country kid, uh-huh. neither was I a city kid. I was right. both. Right. I was living in the countryside, but being in the city all day long, right. and that's really that's really what it was about. They put hoops up in the main yard just for me. And I was playing recess before school in the morning. I'd come early just because I knew that we had basketball hoops. So I would come early, shoot hoops, get to class, recess after two hours, take the ball, go shoot. Fifteen minutes later, go back to class. Two hours later, it's lunchtime. I'm gra- grabbing the ball, going to lunch, eating my lunch in 20 minutes, and then using up the other 45 to <laughs> play and shoot hoops. Right. And, I mean, then afternoon classes come out. We got to go. Two hours later, recess. I'm playing basketball for another 15 minutes. Yep. Finish up the day with the last two hours of school. Then leave the house and play basketball until I have to go home. Right. Okay. Then now we have a hoop at the house. 
and I'm just playing basketball all day, right. all day, until it comes down to making sure my homework is done because mama was going to take away my basketball privileges <laughs> had I not done my homework, right. and, um, and just play until she calls me to eat.